Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Asuli Jr. aka Mustache Tom here with my OC, the Kawaii Critic. So, first and foremost, this picture was provided by one of my fellow Rhode Island bronies, uh, Emily Galliant. I hope I pronounced that last name right, but um, sorry for the late review of the season 5 finale of MLP, the Cutie Rem Remark episodes 1 and 2. Uh, it's been a pretty busy week, and there's other stuff that I'm recording throughout this week, so it's been pretty hectic, but enough about that. Uh, so we get this return of Sunlight Glimmer, who we last saw escape through a cave, and now she's back to get her revenge against Twilight. So, she appears in Twilight's speech during the, uh classroom and uh twilight sees her or assumes that she sees her and it really is her uh but when she looks again she's gone and then when she goes to the castle what do you know she's just waiting for her there and then she does this time spell that brings her back to when uh Rainbow Dash first got her cutie mark and then set off the others to get their cutie marks as well. She stops it the first time and sets off this time alarm, this time thing, and then Twilight goes through it. And then we get our first return villain, uh, Sombra. Uh, and then there's this whole war thing going on, and Twilight's trying to figure out how this happened. Uh, and then through there, she finally decides to go back, and then it stopped, and then... I believe this time she was frozen in that little Superman ice cube thing. Um, then she gets put back through time again and then she has to face the change the return of the changelings and queen chrysalis um and eat in both of those have very different variations of the ponies as we know them they have different looks of course um and it's interesting first we got a war against sombra then we got a war against queen chrysalis um and then they try to go through again, and then Twilight messes up again, and then we get Luna, who gets the win, and, and then sends uh, Celestia through the the, the moon, um, and it's all nighttime and all that good stuff. Uh, after that is Discord, and after that is Tarek, and then after that is the Flim Flam Brothers for some reason, um, I think that was, that one was more for a joke, but, um, at any rate, uh, Sunset is on the verge of wearing Twilight out, and now Twilight's, uh, trying to figure out why Sunset is the way she is, and then she reveals her past, uh, with this little Philly, or I should say cult, uh, known as Sunburst, I believe he was, um, and, uh, she said they had a special relationship, and then it ended badly, because he got his kitty mark, and she didn't at that time, uh, and for me personally, I like that her reasoning is so, I really actually enjoy that her the reason that she's decided to be this way was because of such a simple reason. Um, and the reason why, for at least for me, is because I've actually seen this happen before in my life with people that um, have made really bad decisions or lifestyles based off of really, really dumb things. So. I really, really actually think it's a very, it's almost a very human thing, uh, right there, so, I actually really believed it, um, you know, her reform came a little bit slower, which is good, um, than, mo than some of the others, um, 
I mean, it still sort of, ha- I mean, kind of almost happened in one episode, but you can argue it happened in sort of all four, uh, which is pretty good. Um, what else? Um, overall, this has been a, these two episodes were really fun to just see, um, the creators go through these different timelines and say what would happen if this villain won or this villain won um i think they really had a fun time with it um it really showed um and overall i would say that season five was a pretty solid season for mlp um yeah, every episode has been really, really good, or at least decent at best. Um, and yeah, so this is the end. Uh, I've been reviewing uh, MLP since the very fir- the fir- the fir- uh, the beginning of the fifth season. Um, but I have been watching the show since the beginning. Uh, so it's been quite a ride, and. Um, some things I would want to see for season six since it's been confirmed. Um, let's see. The, one of the first things that I was really, I always kind of wanted to see or wanted to see recently is a bit more of these different locations that they've been mentioning. Um, it feels like even in this season they touched upon it a little bit um, towards the end there with the uh, two families, the McCults and the. Um, health fields um but i feel like they're they can explore more areas like this um perhaps trottingham they've said this place a few times but they've never actually been there so it'd be interesting to see an episode there um in this season we've, we've also seen that there's some japanese influences uh in the background in scaremaster i believe it was um, so it'd be interesting to see a location that's sort of like a mini area in Japan, perhaps like Tokyo or something. Um, and yeah, that would be pretty beneficial to my OC, the Kawaii Critic. That's probably where he would reside for a long time. But, you know, it's just a side thing. But, um, yeah, I would want to see a bit more culture i think that's something that mlp could easily tackle um and it's something that i think young people should understand even you know i think both audiences young and old uh, alike could uh connect with culture and i think that's something that mlp could tackle especially since they're expanding uh with the whole map thing so i think that would be something really interesting to look into the other thing is where they're gonna go with the starlight glimmer uh you know is she gonna be a part of the main i guess now it would be seven is she gonna be an element um is she just strictly gonna be twilight's first student uh there are plenty of questions here in that regard Uh, is she gonna find sunburst at some point uh, there are plenty of questions there, so I'm pretty sure that will probably, one of those things will probably be the focus of season six, um, but who knows, um, I, I don't know, but it's been a fun ride, um, I'll do like an overview in a separate video, but for now, this has been it, so. This has been Tom Cecilia Jr. aka Mustache Tom and I'll see you guys in season 6. It would seem that another MLP villain has been converted from bad to good. So, it would stand to reason that it needs a new villain to rise. Who am I? I am the Phantom Tom. And if I can rise from the shadows, then I believe that I can become the king of Equestria. <laughs>
<laughs> it's gonna be a fun ride.